Greetings Hive fans, Randy Ingersoll here with another video helping you play Hive like a champion. We're going to be reviewing round five of the 2021 Hive Rapid Grand Prix Finals, where four of the top players in the world compete in a double round robin to determine who is the Hive Rapid Grand Prix Champion for 2021. If you don't want to uh, know who the champion is, I'm going to press the mute button now. After six rounds, world champion Quad Labette ended up with five points, Prasco 92 4, Stepanzo 3, and Hawk 81 0. Although it might seem like Hawk 81 was out of his league here, losing all six games, he played some great hive. And of course, he did qualify for this final, so congratulations to Hawk 81. So you can turn your mics back on now if you didn't want to hear who won the, who ended up winning. But let's take a look at the standings after four rounds. Quadlibet and Stepanzo tied with the lead with three points apiece. Brasco two and two and Hawk 84. No wins, four losses through four rounds. So let's go ahead and get started with the first game in round four. I'm sorry, first game in round five. This is Stepanzo and Frasco. So there we go. There's the board space designation. And let's go ahead and get started. Ladybugs come out. Queen, Mosquito, Hillbug, and Queen. And so here's the shoe designation. And Frasco elected to play a buffered opening. And regularly we'll see ants coming out early, so both players play ants. And Stepanzo pins Frasco's first ant. And then Frasco returns the favor by pinning White's second ant with his mosquito. And then when the white mosquito comes out, Rasco pins it as well. So regular occurrence here, lots of mosquitoes and ants coming out early. Stepanzo shifts his pin around to remove this spot as a spawn point. And then Frasco begins the attack with a beetle, as does Stepanzo. And Frasco finally gets his pill bug in play. Then Frasco plays a defending beetle because we know that Stepanzo will be at some point qualifying for the win by covering the Black Queen. Another Black Ant comes in and gets pinned. And after this move, both players have beetles atop the hive. And then when the white beetle moves forward to qualify for the win, black immediately covers it. So Stepanzo playing white is the first player to qualify for the win. Let's see if that's going to be enough for him to come up with a victory. When the second white beetle comes in, the black ant pins it. And this is a very interesting use of a spider here. There are no bugs, white bugs in play that can trap this black spider into the kill spot. So when the white spider comes in looking to perform a pin replacement, the black spider spawns and immediately pins the ant in place. So white was not able to get the pin replacement executed. White does attack with the spider, which could potentially free the white ant. Second black spider anchors down the mosquito, allowing the black beetle at some point to move forward. And then Stepanzo shifts the white ant from a kill spot over to a point where it will be a bi-directional pin on the black ant, which is trapped into a kill spot.
Brasco goes for the ring. Stepanzo doesn't break the ring, but attacks with the grasshopper. Then when Frasco jumps back with the ladybug attacking, the white ladybug shifts over, freeing the white ant, leaving itself in a defensive position. And Stepanzo is playing some interesting positions here, but using the pill bug, warps the spider over, which potentially threatens to release the ant, forcing Frasco to move the mosquito, which then allows the white pill bug to move forward. Staying in good defensive position. The black mosquito comes over and takes its position with the, the pill bug and the white ant. When the defending ladybug jumps over, the black ant attacks, taking a setup shot, forcing white to do something, and so the white ladybug jumps out. The defending white ladybug does what ladybugs do exceptionally well. The black mosquito defends by pinning the white beetle. The white ant attacks and the black pill bug is forced to move away. Otherwise, the white ladybug would take the kill shot. Now, this was an interesting situation here. White elected to bring in another bug rather than immediately attack with the ladybug. So when the black ladybug jumps over, what that does is, it, if the ladybug attacks now, then these ants will be free. Which it does. That ant is free, pinning the black grass, uh, pinning the white grasshopper. Now this black ant is free as well. The one that we thought might not ever move does end up escaping. You don't want to leave a spawn point here so black the freely back ant, black ant shifts over placing another pin on the grasshopper free in this black ant here anchoring down the bug that's being covered by the white beetle and frasco who is running short on time Defends with a ring, spawning the grasshopper. What that does is it allows the pill bug to warp away the spider. Not immediately, but it does, it does allow that to happen. Then the black ant pins the white grasshopper. And at this point, White doesn't have much to do other than just move the, move the beetle back and forth. But the question is, will Black be able to come up with enough bugs to win? At this point, the last bug, bug comes in out of the Black Reserve. And now what Black has to do is Black has to get a bug into this position, into this spot here. Then the grasshopper can go to here and the beetle can take the kill shot, but that's going to be easier said than done. Black initially covers the pill bug to make sure the pill bug doesn't create any issues. And then the goal, of course, is to bring the black pill bug around. And this is a, this is a very informative position here because white drops the beetle down and we're looking at needing to get two bugs into position so
so black covers one of the bugs that's not already in a kill, kill spot. A very informative position there for Frasco. Then when the ant, when the uh, white grasshopper attacks, taking the setup shot, there are no white bugs available to take the kill shot. So Black continues his attack. White forms the ring, and Black actually has multiple choices here. He could attack with the grasshopper, attack with the ladybug, or attack with the queen. He likes to move the ladybug in, and there's no way that white can stop e stop both of these black ants. One of them is going to take the setup shot, and then the beetle is going to take the kill shot. Congratulations to Frasco. Well, well earned victory against Stepanzo. So that was the first game in this round, round five. So now let's go to the second game of round five. Here's the game reference, Quad Labette versus Hawk. And here is the shoe, def shoe description. And if you'll notice, one of the queens doesn't come in until turn four. Quadlebet brings in the queen on turn four, and we have almost a symmetrical position. It's a C queen formation. Ladybugs as the initial bugs. Both players have an ant and a mosquito out. So Quadlebet's mosquito, rather than pinning, attacks, elects to attack. And the black pill bug comes in. And now Quadlebet shuts down the first black ant. And interestingly, Hawk decides to pin the white mosquito. And the black mosquito now has no movement. But it does shut down a lot of the opportunities for attacking white beetles and creates a beetle factory here. Not quite ready to start the beetle factory until all the ants are in play. And then the first black beetle comes in. And of course, as we regularly see, the black ant pins the white ant in such a way that this spot is removed as a spawn point. White spider moves in to form a ring. And of course, if the black ant breaks the ring, then white can defend with a, with a beetle here in the beetle factory. It becomes a beetle factory. So black shuts that down by moving forward. And white is not concerned about breaking the ring, but bringing in his own attacking beetle. And then the second black beetle comes in in the beetle factory. And the white spider shuts down the black mosquito. We'll also see what it's going to do here momentarily as well. This is a good example of a champion player playing in a control game. Stops the sp spider before it can do the pin replacement. The black beetle moves forward, as does the white beetle. Now these next two moves by Quadlebet are very instructive. Notice how both of these grasshoppers come in with lines of attack to kill spots. This grasshopper doing dual duty right now. It's anchoring down the bug underneath the beetle, as well as taking a, an angle of attack. Quadlebet finally qualifies for the win by covering the pill bug. 
And there, this also is an interesting defensive position, a series of three moves. Notice how Hawk brings in a grasshopper, jumps over with the grasshopper, then brings in another grasshopper. And this grasshopper is now pre-swamped the ladybug. Once either one of these spaces are filled, the black ladybug is free to move. The white beetle comes in forming a ring. The white ladybug attacks. Now at this instant, white does not have a bug with an angle of attack to a kill space. So he's not threatening to win now, but will be threatening to win very quickly. So black must respond. First, he jumps in with the, with the grasshopper. Then when the white grasshopper comes in, the black ladybug ships over. Now, of course, now the white grasshopper cannot jump into here because that would set it up for black to win. But white must keep the black queen in play, in place. So the white grasshopper jumps over. Now, either one of these white ants can shift to here. So at this point, black has multiple ways that he can ensure a draw. The key point for black is to fill this space so that when white fills this space, the final kill shot be forces a draw. Black can do it multiple different ways. Cannot come down with this beetle because that would free the pill bug underneath. Black could come down with this beetle, or the other option is this ant could swing around to this spot, creating a fill, releasing the mosquito, using grasshopper power to jump across to there. Expecting, however, that the black beetle was going to move, and we don't want to allow the white pill bug to warp away the grasshopper, the black spider anchors down the black grasshopper. And black still has opportunity for a draw if the black beetle takes a setup shot now. But he doesn't. And then once the white ant moves in play, and if you notice, both of them, both players are running very, very short on time. When black pins the white grasshopper, Hawk 81 loses on time. It's a very, very good game. Very exciting there at the end. Both players under immense time pressure. But what ended up happening was... Hawk missed his opportunities for a draw, and Quad Labette ended out on top. Congratulations, Christian. So let's take a look at those standings after round five. With one round to go, Quad Labette is top of the leaderboard with four points out of five. Stepanzo and Frasco tied for second with three. And in the final round, it will be Hawk playing Frasco and Quad Labette playing Stepanzo. So can Stepanzo beat Quadlibet in round six and force a possible three-way tie and force it into tie breaks? Or can will Quadlibet beat Stepanzo and win the title outright? Watch for the next video. That will be round six. Thank you very much for watching again. I'd like to thank my recent supporters, Alter Ego, Christian G, that's Quadlibet, by the way, Stephen M and Aaron B., if you would like to, you can buy me a coffee. The link is down below. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Two videos are, let's see, here and here. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off.